A room is to be cooled by a desert cooler. The outside design conditions are 40 degree and 20% fire. The cooler has an efficiency of 90%. Find the state of air leaving the cooler if 200 meter cube per minute is discharged. Find the mass of water evaporated per hour. So we have desert cooler is this figure. So initially we have dry bulb equal to 40 and phi equals to 20%. This cooler has efficiency equals to 90%. So contact factor is 0.9. Volumetric flow rate is 200 meter cube per minute. So CMM equal to 200. So you have to, what we do is that we look at the point number one first. So on psychometric chart, we can look at point number one first using phi equal to and dry value equal to 40. Let's say this point is one. So on this graph, you have to first look at 40 degrees Celsius. So 40 degrees Celsius is here. So this line represents the 40 degrees Celsius line. 20% RH is this line. So this point represents point number one. Corresponding value of W1 will be equal to 0 0.009. 0 0.009, a very slightly larger than 0 0.09. So W1 is 0 0.009. The desert cooler process is basically represented as isoenthalpic process. So we will move along the constant enthalpy line and we'll locate this point here. So constant enthalpy line is this line that is passing through point 0.1. So this one is enthalpy equal to constant. Where this line intersects at this point, at this point we can record the dry bulb. So we'll move downward. So the dry bulb temperature will be equal to 21 and this one is 22. So let's say this point number is 3 and this temperature come out to be 22 degrees Celsius. The contact factor is 0 0.9. It means that you have to move only 0 0.9 distance from this side. So where it ends that is point number 2. So this one is called as contact and this one is maximum possible contact. At point number 2 we want to find out the dry bulb temperature that will be the exit condition. So contact factor is T1 minus T2 and maximum value is T1 minus T3. T1 minus T2 and T1 minus T3. T1 you can substitute as 40. T2 you have to find out. Contact factor is 0 0.9 and the value of T3 is 22. Substitute all value and find out the value of T2. We will get T2 equals to 23.8 degrees Celsius. Now first of all we will calculate the mass. To calculate the mass we must know the specific volume at 0 0.1. To find out specific volume we will go to the graph. So the mass rate of air is CMM divided by 60, CMM is meter cube per minute, so 60 is meter cube per second and divided by V1 is 0.9. So we have mass rate equal to 3.7 kg per second. We want to calculate the mass of water evaporated per hour, so you want to locate the value of W2 at this point. So dry bulb temperature you can locate at this temperature which is 23.8 on the line joining 1 and 3. So we can locate the point number 2 that is at 24 degrees Celsius and is line joining between 1 and this line that is point number 3. So we have to first locate 24, 24 is here, this one is 24. From this line you have to draw perpendicular, so this will intersect somewhere here. And from this one you can record the value of W2 that equal to 0 0.016. So we have W2 equal to 0 0.016 from the graph and now we will take the water balance across this figure. So mass of water entering from this side is mass of air multiplied by W1. Mass leaving from this system is point number 2 is m dot a multiplied by W2 and this one is mass of water entering simply m dot W. So we will apply law of conservation of mass and we will solve this. Is mass at inlet that is this mass plus this mass is equal to this mass that is this equation. We will put the value. So mass of air is 3.7 W1 is 0.009. Mass of water we want to find out. Mass of air is 3.7, W2 is 0 0.016. We can solve for m dot w. So mass of water is 0 0.025 kg per second. If you multiply this quantity by 3600, you will get 90.3 kg per hour. So this is the required answer. And if you want to find out the state of air, leaving this one, so state of air is given by the dry bulb temperature equals to 24 approximately. And we can find out the value of phi also at this point. So we'll go to the graph. So this one is our point number two. At this point, your value of phi is approximately equal to. So this value is around 80, and this one is 90. So it is something around 85 percent. So phi two is equals to approximately 85 percent. So we can represent state by the temperature equal to 24, and the phi equals to 85.